but I was a child, I was under 18, so there was a lot of power dynamics there in the therapy sort of setup and definitely it was not a queer affirmative experience at all. There have been examples of where like it's primarily in Sri Lanka it's parents trying to convert their children and actually we have LGBT community members themselves who feel that they need to, you know, it's a lack of awareness but they do feel that they need to go in on their own. My, my mom and my dad say that, you know, you have to be a very, you have to be a man. Six months, I remember, I clearly remember, they locked me in a room. In the next day after getting some uh, prayer by him. When I see someone, uh, the man, I'm still interested. And I, I, I still confused, it doesn't work. How can children, queer trans children, be protected uh, uh, in their homes from these family conversion therapies? And uh, how can there be a uh, uh, mechanism to hold the religious healers accountable, uh, you know? Those things need to be figured out, I think.